Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your Mercury and Retrograde Quantum Reading with me, Jocelyn, the Quantum Queen. So let's see what comes out for you guys. We've got Cancer. Uh, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And as always, welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with a Cancer and the message could actually be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general readings, and if you guys would like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can find my information down below in the description box. And just wanted to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the good karma donations. All right, so we got Mercury retrograde, and as you guys know, Mercury rules communication, travel, uh, what was the third thing? Technology. So they always say just slow down. I always take it that it's it's manifestation time. It's also Hoover season. Things or people from the past come back um, into your life. So that could be potential for some of you. It's just what happens. Life is a circle. You can't always just move forward. If there's things that haven't completely come to an end, they come back full circle. I always take it as the infinity sign. Things come in and out of your your life, you can go back to the past because there's something else to learn from it and then you move forward to the future. I just see life in that way. So um, it's always the time to slow down because it's an accumulation of everything leading up to the point. So whatever you've been putting into your body, food wise, free radicals, plus your thoughts, the brain chemicals tied to them is going to bring in manifestations during mercury retrograde, which is also going to help you. That's why they recommend slow down. Don't just have knee jerk reactions, really observe things before you respond. So what's coming in for you, cancer? We've got the first one is the mask. There's someone that you're dealing with, could be either someone, this even could be you. It's gonna be multiple. It could be that someone isn't really truly revealing how they feel. They're putting a mask over their true feelings or what their real intentions are. And there's the heart. So there's two things that I'm seeing with this. Some of you guys are actually dealing with someone who is putting a mask on how they really feel on their, their true feelings or intentions for you they won't really come out and reveal it but we've got the vow which is commitment so could be significant for some of you i'm going to dive into the details and see what comes out here i think either you or someone like there's some type of new commitment or a contract or just make putting your word on something um you're more than anything though Okay, so many things I'm getting with this, okay. For some of you, you've been hiding what you've really been up to. Maybe you've even been working on something that you're passionate about. If this doesn't apply to romance, it could just be something that you've been working towards that's your heart's passion. And here's, there's some type of commitment coming in, either your commitment to it, or there's going to be some type of coming together, a collaboration, like you're putting your word on it, you're, um, I don't know. We're going to dive into the details of it and see what's coming out. So Mercury retrograde is about three weeks long. And so I, these are kind of the overall archetypal energies that you'll be developing through Mercury retrograde. And the three cards I pull out will be a little bit more fine tuned details on each week and the energy is coming out there. Okay. Oops. Any, what is happening? Okay. Ah, interesting. I think Leo had that one. Yep. Okay. That's good. I love when new cards come out. <laughs> okay, so this first one. Yeah. Um, so look at this one. There's feel loved and proud. So there's something about this mask that it's kind of like you, either you or another person you're dealing with cancer needs to release some type of shame around that vulnerability. So feel loved and proud. Just kind of continue to focus on yourself. And especially if this is someone that you're dealing with where they won't really reveal how they feel, just go focus on yourself. You know, feel feel that love for yourself that maybe you're seeking in another person go do something that you can be proud of yourself for because that's going to be 
your saving grace. That's going to be the thing that helps this not to affect you so emotionally. And that's why I feel like I was getting double message because there could be someone that you're dealing with that has the shadow side that they're not really revealing their emotions or their intentions for you. And so your real commitment has just been to, well, I can't get this from another person. So I'm just going to continue to work on myself until whether this person reveals it or another person comes in and can offer that, that authentic, that authentic emotion and communication that's what you're really dedicating yourself to is just your happiness your heart's desire whatever it is that makes you filled up in life because that's where the real work is you need to feel loved and proud of yourself and we've got Merak, embrace oneness with the universe i feel as though this actually feels like a very positive um retrograde so far we'll get in the, into the details but with that i feel as though you could be deciding to detach yourself from maybe a certain situation or relationship and you're deciding to go maybe connected get connected with nature get connected with the universe and that's what's bringing you back into your heart's desire back into your your love and commitment to yourself and feeling loved and proud and then by the third week you've got epiphany revealing your gifts so i feel as though there could be something about right your heart's desire and you're going to be revealing something maybe you're going to be rolling something out so it's like during mercury retrograde this is what's popping out too for some of you you might have been working on something too but you're keeping it a bit hidden if this is like a project you've been working on you're keeping it a bit hidden during mercury retrograde but i feel like at the end of mercury retrograde you're going to be start rolling it out be starting to roll out your gift or your your idea and but it's like you're still putting it into form and you're going through these other processes to bring it into the tangible do you know what i'm saying i'm finding the words hard to explain this <laughs> let's get let me get a few more details to clarify this okay all right okay well what what was I saying? This is talking about a connection. Okay. Soulmate. It can be romantic. It can be a friend, family, however this is playing out for you guys. But yeah, someone's not really revealing something. There is a lot of love between you and this person, but they're hiding something. Yeah. And I feel like, yeah, look at this. You've got Ten of Swords and the Judgment card. I feel as though, so someone is coming back from the past there it is, the judgment card. That's a rebirth. They're reopening the door to a cycle that had ended previously. So it even could have been a, a very trauma bond, trauma fusion relationship. They're coming back in, okay? <laughs> um, and like I said, it doesn't just have to be romance. It can be a friend. It can be a family member. It's someone that you've been through a lot of different cycles with. So they're coming back in with some type of communication. Seriously, people get so unconsciously triggered by the planetary movements. And so the more aware you are, the more you can understand these energies and why they happen. But a lot of people that aren't into this stuff, they're just unconscious. Like they're just like impulsively sitting there, sitting on the couch and they're like, oh, I am. I wonder what cancer is doing. And then they respond. They have no control over it. They don't think about things, even though it might have been like, a really hard time between the two of you. It was a rough cycle, straight on dark night of the soul. They're still gonna, something could be triggering that. In fact, I'm seeing that something's gonna come up in their reality that reminds them of you. And then instead of just thinking, oh, that was nice. And they just kind of think about you, think back on the past, they're gonna act on it. And they're gonna reach out and contact you. So that's the impulsiveness of the Mercury retrograde is it can cause you to just reach out to people. And it's like, you're not always meant to continue to reach out just because you see something that reminds you of a person in your reality. It doesn't always mean that you should reconnect, okay? Just telling you guys that from personal experience. So you have got, look at that. 
Um, I feel as though you're starting to realize, like, the more connected you go, the more time you spend in nature and you get connected to the universe, it's making you feel very peaceful and balanced. Temperance, it's tempering you. And so I feel as though you could be cancer at just kind of a completion you know you feel a lot of heart connection toward this person i feel like but i feel as though the universe is almost communicating with you your connection to the universe is telling you to move more in the direction of new beginnings the full card take a leap to the new rather than continuing to repeat this cycle okay because it is tied to your self-worth you feeling loved, of you loving yourself, feeling proud of yourself for what you've been through, whatever this, and if this isn't actually someone reaching out, which I am seeing it is, but if this isn't that for some of you, it could just be that you're looking back on the past and on your connections and you're feeling a lot of love for yourself about what you've been through. Retrogrades are all about looking back, looking at what you've been through and processing that and realizing how far you've come. So this is why I feel as though the universe is helping you to see more, move to the new beginnings, take the leap into the new, because I feel like not only is the universe going to be rewarding you in that way, where, where there will be more abundance that comes into you, but more of that even give and take in your relationships that's the balance. It's actually really beautiful that all those came out together, that the new is going to bring more reciprocity into your life. The new diving into the unknown is going to bring more balance to you, which is crazy. Oh, look at that. Oh, cancer. Okay. By the third week, look at what you've got going on. Um, Remember what I said about getting connected to nature and the universe? Look at how your past week, let me just pull one more card. Ah, there it is. There's, you've got the sun card coming in. So you've got this positivity and illumination that's coming to, I feel as though for those of you that are actually committing to your gifts, that's where you're going to receive some type of, of an epiphany, which is the sun card. There's going to be some illumination, maybe a solution or a way to handle a certain situation, but this is going to light you up. But this is why I always talk about with the sun card, going out and spending time in sunsets, like sun gazing for some of you, because it's going to lift your vibration. You're going to absorb those photons of light. And I feel as though it's going to bring a lot of positivity into this process, fear, anxiety, dealing with something that has caused you a lot of pain a lot of stress maybe even sleepless nights seven of wands you're elevating yourself you're going to be moving beyond that and that's why i feel like the sun is helping you to do it's helping you to give it's helping to give you the strength to actually move forward to you know come up against these things like this little bit of a monster in the closet that's coming at you energetically it's helping to give you the strength to stand up to it, to really face your fears in the face and decide to choose yourself. So please, 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 your message couldn't be more clear. And with the vow, I feel like that could be what it's clarifying is to commit to your gifts, commit to you and what you're passionate about. Okay, Cancer? So I'm gonna dive into the extended with this. If you guys wanna join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link and I'll see you on the other side. But Cancer, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love. Wishing you all the very best and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.